In 1946, Johnson died in an automobile accident at the age of 68 while driving to the championship fight between Joe Lewis and Billy Kahn. He lost control of his sports car and crashed into a telephone pole. A reporter later wrote, Jack Johnson died crossing the white line for the last time. Jack Johnson was a big inspiration because of what he did out of the ring. He was so bold. Jack Johnson was a black man back when white people lynched Negroes on weekends, every weekend. Back in 1909, he was, you wouldn't, they would send him letters saying, you fighting a white man, and nigger, if you knock him out, we'll kill you. He said, just kill my black buggers, I'm gonna knock this white man cold. <laughs> and he would knock the white man out, and the crew got clan would be burning them. They killed Negroes all over the country. When Jack Johnson wanted to fight, they had riots all over South America. It was so serious, and Jack Johnson, he's bad. He had to be a bad, bad black man. Wasn't no black Muslims to defend him. Wasn't no NACP in 1909. Wasn't no Rap Brown. Wasn't no move, all these black groups, wasn't no Andrew Davis, no Hill Newton, no Malcolm X. He was by himself, Jack Johnson. It was so long ago, people still had log cabins in this country, and they rode horses and wagons and stagecoaches to fight. He was one black man in the midst of all the rednecks who would kill lynch Negroes every day. He was a, he was dressed up in pretty suits. Negroes are allowed to dress up in days. He put on pretty white neckties and pretty white, and had white women. You know that Negroes bold. <laughs> White women. You would get lynched for looking at a white woman in them days. That man married white women and walked around, took pictures with his white women, married two of them, and they run him out of the country because of white woman. He left the whole country and fought out of Cuba. He was bad. Back in 1909, man. Man, you know, Jack Johnson was the greatest. He had to be the greatest of all. Wasn't no Black Panthers, wasn't no bodyguards. White people were lynching niggas, wasn't no television, wasn't no telephone. And that nigga was doing all this stuff in them days. He was bad when you think about it. I know I'm bad, but he was crazy. <laughs>